Welcome, ladies and gents. We've got some Age of Empires 2 action. Shocker, shocker. We got low ELO legends here. 600 ELO players. I'm excited to show it to you. In the blue, we've got MB. MB playing as the Spanish. It's a very snowy map. I uh, normally play with no snow mod, but sometimes I leave the snow on for casting. And then in the red, building four houses, kind of interestingly shaped, we just have Lady. So this might be, and I'm not going to clickbait this, I promise. This might be the least amount of text in player names in Age of Empires 2 casting history. Literally six letters took when both of these names are combined. So uh, I don't know anything about these players. I've never seen them before. Um, but yeah, anyways, it's Magyars for Lady who might know a bit about the Magyars and like to go for scouts, let's say. And then Spanish are pretty good late game civilization, pretty solid on water as well. So maybe the flexibility is going to be there for Blue Sith. But we don't know if these guys are really going to use that flexibility or what their plan is. But it is Baltic. So there's a giant body of water in the middle. Uh, and you can only cross over on land to each other on both separate sides. So obviously if you go to the south, that's going to be a very long journey. If you go to the north, it's not too far away. They're actually pretty close together. So, uh, Yover's Fire is also six characters, or Yover's Bro. Okay, true, but it's at least tied for the lowest. And also, when's the last time I've ever covered Yover's Bro or Yover's Fire? It's been a long time. Like, I'm sure it happened, but maybe like five years ago. So, uh, why is there an upside down mushroom in the middle of the map? There, uh, does this look like a mushroom to you guys? I don't know what it looks like exactly. You guys are more creative than me. But you know what I... I really appreciate about this map. Oh, shoot. My mod shows the relics. The little star above the relic. That's not good. I, I've been testing out different mods to make it easier for me to play. And I really like this one because it's easier to see the relic. Is that too bothersome for you guys? Is that an issue or is that not an issue? All right. I get it. You guys are caught up on the letters thing. Yo versus MBL and Yo versus Licks. My clickbait's not going to work. But um, anyways, the, what I was going to say, not the little star above it, which is just from a mod that I have. Um, what I find to be quite nice about this map is instead of there being a fifth relic in a location that is most likely easier for one player to get, they have put it on an island. Now, I suppose it is easier for Blue to access that, but... You want to hear something interesting? I played a game on Baltic two weeks ago. At one point, it was a very long game. And at one point... He was starting to transport his monk. I kill this transport ship, kill this monk, right? Then I picked up the relic, hopped into a transport ship, was coming back to the shoreline, and my transport went down. And so, you know, the, obviously the relic doesn't sink with the monk. It then comes to the, the closest spot on land, which was my shoreline. But I found that to be very rare occurrence. This is auto scout, guys. That, the way that scout is moving, Blue's not paying attention to that. That's auto-scout. It is actually beneficial for you to be in the left corner if you are an auto-scouter because the auto-scout always wants to go to the right corner. Is red auto-scouting? Aha! See what I mean? Devs need to fix it, man. You need to, you need to fix auto-scout. This is unfair. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not unfair. But it is interesting that you, you know both players are auto-scouting currently. And uh, you know, that Brett has obviously scouted his corner very thoroughly. We'll see if this scout makes it over. Um, Brett has not located these sheep. Brett has shown no indicators to me that there's any interest in eating a boar or placing a dock. And Blue... I don't know what Blue's doing. I'm still trying to figure this out. Blue, Blue is... Oh, I think Blue has located the boar. Oh boy, big moment in the game. Blue is going to go try and kill a boar. Does have loom. Should be fine. Uh, is Blue going to bring it to the town center or the mill? Or is Blue going to be okay with walking back and forth here? Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. Bringing it over to the mill. Should be fine. And this is a lot of food. So I give Blue the advantage uh, in the Dark Age. Because farming in the Dark Age, while it can look really cool, and it is consistent over time, it's not going to give you quite as much of a spike of food. But you never know, because, like, maybe Blue will never farm. So. Um, <laughs> maybe Red's vegetarian. Maybe. Though I'm pretty sure Red ate sheep. So, 
Uh, enough. Maybe, you know, maybe Red has just made that life choice now. So um, let me talk the basics about Baltic because a lot of you guys are probably like, well, that's a lot of water. What do I do? Uh, the big thing on Baltic is you, you would benefit from having fishing ships. Uh, in Blue's case, Blue's got lots of wood. Adding a dock on the shoreline and then spamming fishing ships helps your economy a lot. The benefit of fishing ships is that they can fish kind of forever as long as there's fish, whereas a farm eventually recedes, right? So that one fishing ship could, in theory, take every single fish on this map. Would require a little bit of work, but... Yeah, anyways, um, fish are important, but this is 600 elo, and I don't think these guys really want to change the way they're playing. They, I don't think water being on the map really changes how they're going to address this game, at least at this stage. Very good farms here from Red, I have to say, as the auto scouts continue to flirt with each other. You guys are enemies. Stop being so flirty. But I, this is interesting. It's like Red Scout is now going to wander over towards Blue's base. And Blue's base... Uh, okay, I guess Blue's Scout still has a lot more to control. That's still close... Or, or Scout, rather. Uh, close to that right corner. Yeah, really nice farms from Red. He clicks up to the next stage. And Red's going to have a nice food economy. Feels the need for more wood, so he's going to now chop more wood. Leaves his villager on berries. Blue now farming away. Okay, there's something about Blue's base that surprises me, having watched a lot of lower ELO players. And that something is the fact that he doesn't really like to order his houses. They are very random, which higher level players do, right? They're just like, I need the houses. But it does surprise me that at this ELO, it is so random. And the mining camp here could be way more efficient. <laughs> uh, but again, Blue's building placement, just a little bit random. Okay, now speaking of... Wait wait a second, now, now Red's making houses. Now Red's houses aren't even together here. And now they're not together here. So what do I know? These guys are, I think, more, probably more worried about getting the actual buildings, right? Not just the placement of it. Gotta love it. Low elo mining camp here. It takes some stone and can take some gold from that one. Good stuff. Also, what's up, Jonas? Welcome. Um, okay, but you guys don't think this is an issue? I'll wait to see what the YouTube audience says later on as well. I hope you guys don't think this is an issue because I thought that, much like my tree mod, that would not actually come into the game. And I really like this. I also have... Ooh, I, I, we gotta see a monk. There's also a mod I'm using for monks. It has this little downward arrow over top of the monk's head. Because sometimes it's really easy to lose track of where your monks are in a big, crazy group. Hmm. A blue will be in Feudal Age here in a second. Seems like the plan is Fast Castle. Maybe we'll see a castle drop. Who knows? It gives you Mario vibes? Gotcha. Well, I like it. I haven't played with it that much. Um, I have a... I, I think I'm going to start using the Pine Tree mod as well. So all my trees are the same type of trees. Because it's easier to click. There are certain trees that are just not easy. It's just it's just awkward to click them. But thankfully, that doesn't address... That doesn't change this for you guys, right? Like, I know these are actually pine trees. So, bad example. But this is like a snow pine. Versus this is... Well, it's a different type of snow pine. Okay, so my, my point is, is like... I'm concerned that my mods would change things too much. So, blue reaches feudal age... Barracks and another barracks. Okay, so two by two by two here. Scout runs through the deer carcass <laughs> as as uh, Blue's taking it. That's hilarious. Hmm. The relics are a little distracting. Yeah, I'll see if I could maybe do something about that. Because if I had it my way, I wouldn't have that on. But it's only distracting if I really bring more attention to it. I feel. Man, these guys are super close right now. Supplies! Blue has supplies coming in, though. So Blue goes, I'm going to click Man at Arms in this barracks. I'm going to click those little apple boxes in this one. So it's going to be cheaper food cost for the militia. Did queue up the militia before supplies was completed, though. So he didn't get the discount on those, as far as I'm aware. But if I know Blue, and I know 600 ELO, and I know the players that are playing this chill, this is not going to be for offense. This is going to be for defense only. 
Red's definitely got a better build order to head towards Castle Age, though. Look at this. Had this villager not gone to stone, the gold would be there and the food would be there right now. So. Uh, when does the new patch come out? They have not given any information on when the new patch comes out. Um, I think it's going to be within the next week and a half, if that helps. I also have already recorded a video that discusses everything on the new patch when it when it drops. If you guys are at work or whatever, and you know, you're just like itching to hear about it or itching to test it, um, there will be a video that drops. I've got a little bit of an inside scoop on, on the situation because not everything uh, that is in the public testing build is actually going into the, the new patch build. So um, yeah, anyways, I, I've recorded and we're in the process of editing the video most of like a lot of what was in the public preview build will be in the new patch but not everything so i uh, discuss things there give some opinions the video is probably going to be an hour long it'll be as in-depth as i felt was needed hmm okay so red will be in the next stage no military buildings so for the time being i'm thinking red's just going to drop town centers blue where did the army go yep did I call it or did I call it? Guys, this is just a defensive man-at-arm army. More than being made now. Obviously delays the castle age quite heavily. And the wood efficiency, the, the eco-efficiency in general is really hurting blue right now. Not having a better lumber camp at this stage of the game means that these farmers don't have the wood to make more. Whoa, blue's going the other way. Okay, so I guess blue... He just wants to scout with these things, maybe? Or maybe he wants to be extra sneaky. He did scout Red's base. Hmm. Is it worth it to take water control on this map? Definitely, yeah. Basically, I think the best thing you can do is you dock yourself in Dark Age and add some fishing ships. In Feudal Age, make some navy. If you're not encountering any fish or any docks from them, then you just use wood to add more fishing ships. And then you could just wall up just in case they go for land attack. That's an important element, right? Blue continues to produce the man-at-arms. Well, we can't say that supplies wasn't worth it. Oh, look at it, guys. Look at it. Protecting. Blue is protecting this choke point. Red's in the next age. Red's going to drop a monastery. Okay, thinking about relics, I guess. Do you guys think this relic will ever be taken this game? I'm going to guess no. <laughs> oh, man. My biggest gripe is that they took probably the most prevalent armor type in history with Gambesons and decided that some civs don't have them. It's Chinese without gunpowder all over again. Ooh, interesting. I, I wasn't actually sure. I, I wasn't aware of how prevalent it is. I did look it up, though, to know that you know, that it was based on some level of history here. Yeah, I don't think this relic will ever be taken. I like the wall here from blue, though. That's good. Honestly, it's just blue is in, is very scared of the darkness, very scared of the world, has invested a lot into upgrades and units to stay safe. And blue is going to get the walls down. Now, do we know that blue could have just walled this without ever making the man-at-arms and blue could be in Castle Age and having better economy? Yes. But Blue doesn't know this because, remember, guys, darkness is scary, okay? I still remember the feeling. I say this a lot, but I still remember the feeling of wandering out into the darkness in Age of Empires 2. It's pretty freaky stuff. All right, so Red's going to get the relic. Okay, so there was no arrow over top of the monks. That's good. So that mod doesn't affect things. Um, Man, is Red just going to go, like, Magyar Hussar here? Also, I know we're not seeing anything super advanced here from, from either player, but particularly Red, like, Lady's done a great job. Man, I feel so judgmental. Like, stop calling her, stop calling her Lady. Call her by her real name. I, what I, like, Lady is the name, but I don't know. Like, if I've ever, like, hey, Lady, you know, like, <laughs> I guess I've said, that's a nice Lady. I've said that before, but for whatever reason, calling this person Lady just seems rude. Um, But okay. Anyways, my point is, is the eco is really fluid. We've got three minutes of idle TC, good wooden farm eco upgrades, good farm placement. 
the balance is all right. Getting relics as well. Oh, no, but the men at arms are here. Blue is attacking, and Blue is running away. Blue's like, I'm not religious, actually. Could you not do that? Okay, well, now we just lost Frank. Okay, so that conversion's good from Red. Red's also just pulling the man at arm over towards the castle fire. Blue doesn't know about this. And this lady's gonna die for Lady, but then Lady uses the castle fire perfectly. Blue knows there's a castle there, and Blue might be scared now. Blue, who made two barracks before, is now going to make two stables. Again, Blue, if you could please make a new lumber camp so your villagers start stop slaloming through this house maze you've made. That would be wonderful. Let's just look at the efficiency of these lumberjacks. This is their life, okay? They've been chopping wood 57% of the time, and they've been moving the other percentage. That's not so good. Whereas you look at red... Actually, Reds is, aren't, isn't that good either, but I guess, like, this villager is closer, so, okay. I guess this villager was doing other things as well. Man, Magyar Hustlers are so freaking cool. Look at this, and that's a tower from Blue that could go up and kind of make getting that relic awkward for that monk. Another conversion comes in. Magyar Hustler should destroy Man at Arms, especially with the attack at this point. And bam. Will the tower go up? Oh, I'm going to laugh so hard if this monk dies to the tower. It shouldn't. Because the tower is going to be distracted by the Magyar Hussars. Huh! Huh! Run away, monk! Run away! Run away! Oh, he almost died! <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I'm not sure if Red researched it, but there is a tech for the Magyars where the Magyar Hussars don't cost gold. No, he definitely did not, because I just saw the gold count go down when more Magyar Hussar got queued up. The good news for Blue, though, is that there's still this, whatever this is. I can't wait to talk about that. And Blue is now walled. So, yeah, it was a bit painful to take the losses that you've taken here, but the idea is sounds to have the walls keep yourself safe. So that's really good. Both players with good resources. Corvinian army isn't that expensive, by the way. So highly suggested if you're in Red's position and you have those resources to be researching that if you can. Oh, we have another layer of walls here from this villager. Dang. And now Red is going to attack the gate. How much do you want to bet Blue sends another vill here? Blue is definitely going to send another vill. There she goes. <laughs> now, is he going to repair it? Or is it going to be another layer? Okay, another layer. That's not bad. I Oh, it's going to be close, though. Thankfully, Spanish build faster. There's Corvinian army now, by the way. It's almost as if Red heard me. And, ooh, Red is also going to wall. So, good thinking. I think Red kind of learned that tactic from the enemy here. Okay, this villager will be fine. It's a Spanish builder. The walls should go up. And actually, I don't know if we have any mods, by the way. Just can snipe that link actually what's beneficial here is because you're not making a gate red won't be able to get as many units to attack the piece um so you'd have to like split up two magyar hussars for each piece of stone wall so it'll take way longer I'm calculated there from blue thank you mods all right new town center for red red says i want more fills new town center for red red says i want more fills we will see how good they are at producing out of these TCs. Blue is producing out of both right now, which is solid. Again, their idle TC time is very similar. You know what kind of bothers me? And it's not that big a deal, guys. It kind of bothers me that there's Step Lancers that have one range, and then Magyar Hussars don't have one range. Right? Like, if you look at the Step Lancer, and then you look at the Magyar Hussar, the Magyar Hussar should have two range, if anything, or one range, right? But uh, it doesn't work like that. It does look super cool, though. Oh, what if they're... What if they're pointy stick? What if they're... Is that a lance? Is it javelin, maybe? What if it got stuck in the wall hole? Yeah, that's possible. Gotta be careful where you stick that thing. Okay. Blue still chilling out over here. And might try and get more walls. Magyar Hussar with one range would be amazing. Maybe a bit busted. Yeah, yeah. They shouldn't change the unit because Magyars, I think, are in a good spot balance-wise. 
and Magyar Hustler is already really strong. But, um, but yeah, anyways, it's just, it's a little bit backwards. <laughs> so Red has shown that she is in, uh, can I, I think it's fair to call her she, she's infatuated with the Magyar Hussar. So am I. So I love that. Two relics. And, oh, oh, here comes Red. And Red, you've been walled on this side as well. Oh, Blue, please wall this now. <laughs> Please wall behind. That'd be so funny. These Magyar Hussars getting trapped. Oh, and Blue also tried to run in. But yeah, you, you know, you're you're kind of telegraphing your long-term strategy. You're giving Blue an opportunity to build up and deal with this type of unit. So if Blue knows about what to make, Blue should be going for Pikeman. And it looks like Blue's got a mix of everything here. Yeah, let's go! Blue's gonna make another layer. Yes! Oh, now send army. Because the, now the Magyar Hussars can't run away. Aha! <laughs> You've now activated my trap card, says Blue. What if... Does MB for, for Blue mean my bad? Yeah, maybe it does. My bad. Didn't mean to wall you in there. Sorry. Hmm. Still wondering if we'll ever see Doc. 62 villagers versus 59. To anyone out there who's scared of playing this game online and always goes into the lobby browser experience, which is the Wild Wild West, this is yet another game at 600 ELO that should show you ranked is not all that bad. Yes, there's a number, and people are scared of a number. They don't want to know that the number can make them feel bad about themselves. But if you want fair games... As a monk now comes over from Blue, and Blue's like, how do you like it? Blue converts one of those Magyar Hussars. Um, oh god, don't try and save him. Oh, he's a legend! He saves it too! Dang! Okay, anyways. Ranked does produce pretty balanced situations, is my point. You sometimes do need to put in a decent amount of games to be able to, to find your sweet spot. And we've now got another tower so that's cool and uh, you know blue putting a lot of focus on sectioning off the base these towers here have been doing some damage against red red doesn't really seem to care so the kd for blue is rising blue's getting murder holes now we might see other techs out of that university like guard tower possibly i forget if spanish get keep i'm pretty sure they get guard tower and Red says, hey, that's a nice idea. I'm going to do the same thing behind my walls against your scout. And these guys have just been trading ideas and trading blows this whole game. Man, if only they knew about the potential for a transport ship. There is a transport ship! I didn't even know! Let's go! I love this from Red. And Blue's making more walls, but Blue is wide open at home to a raid if units come across. Okay, so I'm going to suggest something here. Red clearly knows a lot. Red's going to get careening, so now you can fit uh, 10 units in each ship, okay? Um, I think you should send 5 military units and 5 vills. And you want to attack immediately, but then build up immediately as well. Because the worst thing you can do is send over units, get some value from your attack, and then they deal with it, and then they're like, oh, he could transport, and they fortify their whole base before you can attack again. This Magyar Hussar, man, he has seen some stuff. He has traveled the world, but he has watched his friends switch sides and die off to various arrows. <laughs> look at Just look at the long swords, dude. Like, <laughs> the long swords lined up facing the tower. This is why we love Loelo Legends. There's just a feel to this. And I'm not even sure how to describe it. But you know what? It feels like home. That's what it is. Okay, so Red fills up the transport with 10 Magyar Hussars. There's not enough room for any more. Red did wall here, which is really smart. I don't know what Blue's villagers are doing here, but Blue's getting a lot of attacks. Blue even getting fortified wall now, so you're not breaking through any of these areas. Um, Blue has seemingly... Oh god, Blue is putting archers into the towers! We saw this last week as well in Low Elo Legends. This is like a Low Elo meta we're seeing. 
Oh, God, for the love... Please, Bloop, make a new lumber camp at some point for me. <gasps> Red is here. Now, does, does Red wait for more before attacking? Because there's still more waiting here. Why no imp for Red? That's a good point. Red's not an imp yet. Red's not waiting. Here we go. I've seen players resign over less. I think Blue has put so much work into walling this whole map that this is going to frustrate Blue to levels that Blue might not be able to take. Or Blue might just not realize that there has been an attack bell. Oh, boy. Well, I could definitely see Blue resigning now when Blue finally realizes. Blue is probably looking here, putting archers into towers, adding a gate. Life is good. Okay, now, now Blue is reactive. So now Blue knows. Blue is sending Cavalier. Cavalier will be able to kill this amazing raid from Red. The town bell has been rung. Eventually, this will be dealt with, but the beauty of Magyar Hussar, or Hussar in general, is that they do not cost gold. So you can get great raids in with them, and you don't have to worry about it being a waste. Oof. Yeah, that hurt. And it's not just the fact that... Uh, it's not just the fact that these villagers have been killed. It's the fact that so many villagers have been idled. And now Blue investing so much wood and gold into archers to go into towers. It does feel like a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Okay, Blue, you have to put your villagers back to work here. I get it. They're scared. But you, you got to force them to. They're, they're essentially slaves in this game, right? They don't get a say. <laughs> Is that too brutal? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no villager wants to do that for so long. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they're t they're really fighting for the team. Okay, we've got Bombard Cannons now. And I guess they're going to maybe push red on this side. Um, All these villagers played a part in this whole process. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Huh. Oh. Um, and okay, these units... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. They're healing? But the two Magyar Hussars are being interrogated, basically. They're like, tell us all their secrets. And he's like, he's just going to make more Magyar Hussars. We don't believe you. He's like, yes, that's the, that's true. They are only going to make Magyar Hussars. He's like, all right, well, then you lead the way. I said, fine. So they're going to lead the way now. Here they go to investigate. Oh, boy. Oh, this is blue. Blue is trying to convert this. And... Oh, no! Guys! 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 I need you to look at this. Okay? This is the most important thing you'll see all month. Top right, elite Magyar Huss are coming in. Okay? Now, blue before had converted two regular Magyar Hussars. Here, red has one regular Magyar Hussar. We go as slow-mo as we can on this because Blue is trying to convert this Magyar Hussar. The conversion's coming in. Blue decides not to kill it. And... Oh my god. Like, did you see that? The tech hit zero. Hold on, we gotta go back. Okay, the tech hits zero here before the conversion comes in. Let's look at the castle. 98.52%. So... You know, the, the thing we have here showing us, that's not exact. How how far can I, how close can I get this? 98.94%? 99.35% is where it was when it got converted. Anyways, I hope that made your day. Unfortunately for red, or, or for blue, sorry. Uh, the, the conversion did not bring an elite unit over to this side. Hmm. All right, so healing up more Magyar Hussars. And I imagine Red's just going to transport again. Like, I don't think Blue has any clue how that happened. I think... Like, Blue hasn't shown any signs of, of reacting. Maybe Blue expects it to have come from water and is just leaving units here in case it happens again. But I don't know. We will have hand cannons out of these archer ranges. And again, before we had bomber cannons from blue, so I think blue is going to maybe eventually attack here. Now red is making archers. I would love to see cav archers from the Magyars. They have insane cav archers, but we'll see. 
Yo, fishing ships in this game? Zero fishing ships. Well, this is the only dock we've seen, as we even have dry docks. And so now you can fit 20 units inside of the ship. There are other benefits to dry dock. It's actually fairly expensive, but in this case, Red knows enough to know that there's transport bonuses, so... Funnily enough, there was a time in Age of Kings when the Elite upgrade would actually have upgraded Blue's Hussars as well. Really? I, did, I was actually not aware of that. I think there's a chance here for Blue where the timing could be beneficial. If Blue were to attack here, I think Red might be distracted and Red might not transport. But that time is... Oh, boy. That time is going to pass. I think Blue's going to learn some very hard lessons here. Like, I bet you if Blue played 10 Baltic games, maybe on two of them, the players go for transports. So you need to lose enough times to it before you realize how devastating this can be. Blue is producing more Vils, so obviously lost a lot of Vils. I thought Blue would just stop, but Blue is producing a fair amount. Also does have fully upgraded Halves. Still really wants to advance on this side. Likes the sneakiness of it, I guess. Is Red going to make another transport? Come on, Red. You got to make another transport. You've got 25 more units. Nope. Here we go. Hmm. These low elo players make even more vills than me. You should always make more villagers if you can think of it. Unless you're fully popped, that's the best way to describe it. Okay. Again, last time Red didn't wait for more. Red's going to show up. Blue does have units here. There's 10 Halbs. I think 20 Mega Hussar could actually win that fight if they were immediately engaging. And that's the, Red just kind of clicked the units here. And now the goal is to spread out, right? You want to split them up. Red's done exactly that. A lot of the Mega Hussars have died, but still five villagers have been killed. Red, pretty aware though this time. Does react nicely, and, and, uh, or what, did I say red was aware? I meant to say blue was aware. This could have been way worse. Now, please do not lose Bombard Cannons here. Oh, they're so expensive. Oh, red, you should absolutely kill those. Oh, no! Magger Hussars have a bonus against Siege. They eat him for breakfast. Boom. 500 resources going down there, losing two cannons. And again, we have another instance where the raid pays off. So blue, you need something. You need to push. You need to somehow be aggressive here because red's tactic of just loading up transports and raiding is working really well. And I feel like blue hasn't shown any real signs of adapting well here, but is clearly prepping for some type of attack. I think Blue is using the low elo outlook with the hand cannons of guns should beat everything. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, good luck with your arrows and your swords, bro. I've got guns. <laughs> that's what I, at one point, that's what I thought. Because, <laughs> um, like, you know, think about it. <laughs> if you go to battle, which one would you rather have? <laughs> uh, I'll take the guns, please. But... Magyar Hussars and... I mean, Magyar Hussars alone might be good enough against Gunpowder. And then, you know, some Crossbowmen as well could be devastating. This is the same transport ship. The exact same one. Also, that's the Starting Scout. Starting Scout suddenly starts to attack. And doink! Gets a kill before going down. Blue is making a Bomber Cannon over here. So Blue, so fixated on the sides, man. <laughs> <laughs> so fixated and red just like why would you not keep doing this <laughs> red's like well i guess i'll try it again <laughs> who do you think's having more fun right now in this game it's gotta be red right oh encounter the relic encounter the relic please 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 Ooh, yes Ooh, oh it would have been so funny if he dropped them off here and they'd be trapped Okay, so Red is trying to drop them off in a sneakier spot this time. Not really sneakier. You're going to the same area anyways. Okay, Magyar Huss are running in. And wow, they're attacking the church. Oh, horrible. 
horrible. This is this is a war crime. Oh, that is cool though. Oh, look at the synchronized pokes. Poke, poke, poke. This guy wants in on the action. He can't find space. That was nice. This is why we play this game. Blue ready to defend from this? I think. There we go. And the halbs are there. Blue's gonna make a new monastery. Hmm. And again, red doing kind of doing a similar thing. Sees the monk, kills the monk. I like that. Where red just says, okay, you'll kill some of my units, but I'm gonna split up. I'm gonna run to another area of your economy. And the damage is done every single time there's a raid. And if you lose another Bombard Cannon Blue, I might lose my mind. Oh, no. That's so sad. Oh, wait. The Cavalier might might save it? Might save it? Wow. Great micro from Red. Maybe I spoke too soon. I really like how much attention Red pays to this. I thought Red was just going to forget about it. Just click the units there and focus on everything else. What's it say their APM is here? I mean, red was very fast there. I was probably Hussar raid, but... Okay. So, blue's like, I, I've been bent, but not broken. I still have a chance here, maybe. I'm wondering if we are going to see... Oh, there are the monks for red. I'm wondering if red is ever going to make an attempt for that relic. We do see an additional transport ship. Red is yet to see a reason why they shouldn't do this. Blue is probably just getting so annoyed because Blue's like, let me play out my strategy here. <laughs> now, is that second ship for more Hussars? Of course it is. Um. Okay. Where's it going? Uh, you're going... Guys! <laughs> They're all excited to get in the freaking ship. <laughs> the whoever's driving this ship is trolling. What's happening? Just stay, stay put. <laughs> oh man, he's like, I'll take you. Nope, not gonna take you. Sorry, I'll go to the other shoreline. You, yep, okay. <laughs> is that a bug? <laughs> I've never. I mean, we don't see transports enough for me to really experience that. Too frequently. Ivanager for red, by the way. I don't know where. And red's just going to show up with more. Blue, I, I'm i rooting for you here. I want to see what your plan is. But this isn't getting any better for you. And now there's 40 Magyar Hussars. It was 20 each time before. And there go the Magyar Hussars. Again, red does a really good job with raiding. Just leaves a couple units in different locations. Blue's just tried to queue up more villagers as well. And this is just going to wreck... I think Blue's going to resign. If Blue is a player who has a plan, but Blue can't get enough going for the plan to be executed, I think Blue's just going to quit. Or or maybe, like, this is the attack now. You're hoping that Red doesn't notice this or something. Guys, Blue has... This is the, the low elo logic. Blue has gone for the most difficult type of strategy if you would have gone for water control it would have been fine if you would have pushed here it would have probably been fine but instead we went for the one two three four four layer choke point walls and then pushing on the far side of the uh, of the map i think in blue's mind it's probably for a surprise factor because it's going to lead to the biggest surprise maybe it's style points as well i don't know <laughs> but Blue has made life incredibly difficult for himself. Okay. You think Red's the one who favorited Baltic here? I don't know. I could see Blue doing it. Blue is the one who walled first. I, I, I think Blue is the weaker player between the two. And I feel like the weaker player would favorite a unique map like this to try and get an edge with walls. Like, Red obviously seems to have better in-game logic with some aspects and it's a really big lead now but like if i had to guess i would say blue really wanted to wall the sides and hates to get raided right so due to the fact that blue hates to get raided that's why we have the walls it just didn't account for the transporting i if i again if i had to guess that's what i would say 
Okay, so here goes Blue. Blue's like, well, he's raiding me. I need to try something here. Red's still running around like a massive nerd. I love it. Okay. No blacksmith upgrades for these arbalests. So they're six plus one. They're five range. This is because of the... Uh, the, the plus one is because of the chemistry upgrade, which was researched. Red is again attacking the church. Red, <laughs> are you going to get away with this again? Blue is probably looking here, right? And Blue's like, I'm not just going to open the walls. I'm going to take out all your walls. And here come the Magyar Hussar and Lady. Again, loving life. Is going to run in here, try and kill these cannons. Meanwhile, the church, well, the church will survive. And more monks are on the way. But there's not going to be a lot of wor worshipping at that church, especially with all the carnage around it. And, oh, really? did Red bait those Cavalier from Blue away? I think possibly. We're not saying the towers really contribute that much. Red again with great kills here, and I think this game... This game is over as soon as Red wants it to be over. Let's put it that way. Uh, Sam in Chats has got a question for you all, all you ranked players out there. If I choose my sieve, do I get placed with someone who chose as well? Um, basically, so I don't know how familiar you are with it, but there's a little question mark. Oh my god, Blue's gonna make cannon galleons? Wait, what? Out of which dock? Oh, there's a chance for Blue. Okay, if Blue goes full navy and camps the shorelines forever with these walls, Blue actually has a chance. Because Spanish navy's insane... And Red has not shown me that Navy is is in his or her repertoire yet. Blue's even getting the War Galley upgrade. Blue also has Bracer and Chemistry, which Red didn't get. There's actually a chance here for Blue. I'm so surprised Blue's still playing. Okay, let me let me answer the question. So there's a little question mark, right? And if they, you have a red X over that, which you do while clicking it, whatever sieve you have selected there or whether it's random or whatever, that you're going to get. That then means your opponent is also going to get whatever they had selected there. Now, there is a chance that they had random, but they could still go random. Uh, but, but yeah, that's the way it works. It does not... Whatever you have selected there when you queue up to play ranked does not decide on your opponent. That is purely based on your elo. Oh, man. Reddit... Guys... Lady has been living this dream where it, it's possible to raid every single time she feels like it. And that could be stopped if Blue could make enough Navy. Again, there's probably going to be a wake-up call at some point here. Because Red should be like, oh, wow, that Navy looks really strong. Look at the towers! The towers pay off! Oh, they're just attacking the lumber camp. Oh, now the villagers. Okay, cool. But man, can Blue get the eco for it? Blue has so little gold. Blue is, well, it doesn't have wood efficiency and has not had wood efficiency all game. Oh, here comes another transport. Okay, now, Blue, you still... <laughs> is this a patrol? <laughs> oh, God, guys, we can see the transport go down. Blue. Blue. Stay in the middle. Okay, so Blue actually wants to fight here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, could notice it, could notice it, could notice it, could notice it, could notice it. <gasps> the transport has made it. So there's going to be one more raid. But I'm still curious. Will Red know what to do against this? Blue is going to think, aha, you can't transport against me anymore, fool. Little does he know, there's another transport already here. But I mean, the Cavalier are here. There's Helms here as well. Red is now going to be distracted. Red could start to lose some ground here. This could be a really long game. <laughs> okay, now a lot of you right now are going to say, okay, well, what do you do, T90, in Red's position? Well, you need to find a spot where there's not Navy for Blue, and you need to dock, and you need to come onto water. That's what it is. It's simple, but in the moment, sometimes it's not because you just look at their ships and you get scared and you think it's not possible. Uh, bombard cannons and hand cannons are here. We've seen so many bombard cannons. 
go down to the Magyar Hussar. However, this time around, they will survive. And the raid potential is gone now. Now, Red is going to dock here. He's like, look at this guy. He's like, save me, friends. <laughs> Guys, save me. They're like, don't worry. We'll make a transport ship for you. I'm curious if he tries to save him or if he he's just going to make Navy here, if he's going to make another transport. Oh, God! Well, but, but uh, this is not good for the Arbalest normally, but they do have numbers. And Blue is attacking the Lumber Camp. Okay. Well, this is this just means you don't need to make Navy, I guess. What's happening here? Nothing? Okay, so Red is just like, wow, these ships are actually pretty weak. Got it. And Red still has tons of resources. Red has enough resources where if Blue wins this game, it's because this game goes on for three hours. And Blue was very distracted by other things. And Blue was unable to realize that. Might lose faith in the Navy, but is ready for the next attack. This monk might look like a man of God, but he is a man of war, actually, in disguise. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Did Blue notice this? Uh-oh, Blue noticed this. Okay, Red's going to make fire galleys, but the dock can be confusing. We're going to see a tower now. Oh, God. Lady is panicking. Lady is panicking. I mean, the tower will go up. He didn't shot! Lady knows what's up in the university. Wait, where is it? Oh, there's another university. Okay. Oh, wait. This might not actually go up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It goes up. Okay, so heated shot means your towers and your castles do more damage against ships. It's actually a really good tech. But normally when we see that in Loewe the Legends, it's because players research it in a, for units that they... Like, they, they research it on land maps. Normally, they they don't have any clue what that is. Again, the Magyar Hussars are like, we have this big pointy stick. Are you kidding me? How can we not hit this ship? So Magyar Hussars are being sacrificed there. And Blue is not pleased about this dock and is going to try and take it out and may do so, but will lose cannon galleons in the process to one single fire galley. Ay, 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 that hurts. And Blue's going to make more docks. Great stuff from Blue, uh, or from Red. Sorry, I'm getting the colors wrong. I think Blue's tempted to raid now. This is a long one, folks. Strap in. This might become a wood game, believe it or not. And Blue actually has access to more wood lines. I know it feels weird to say it's a wood game when Red has so much wood in the bank. But surely Blue would has the potential to chop more from here on out. Hmm. Okay, Elite Cannon Galleons now on the way. Spanish Elite Cannon Galleons are insane. Also, sad thing for Red is the War Galley upgrade was queued up in the dock that just went down. So that upgrade will not complete. Spanish Elite Cannon Galleons are bonkers. They are insane. And here we go. Elite's in now. Bonk. Bonk. And another bonk. Bonk. Okay, galleons are coming over. Come on, lady! You can do it! Don't tell me Blue's gonna win. I, I take it back to my point earlier. Blue is 100% the player who favorited vaulting. I think Blue's the worst player overall, but Blue has faith in the strategy, holding the sides and now controlling water. Maybe I'm wrong, though. We have Galleons, and we have Cannon Galleons, we have Cavalier combined against Arbalest that don't have Blacksmith upgrades, and Magyar Hussar. The combination is stronger for Blue, and the desperation for Red is probably growing. And now we have Hand Cannons coming in, and the Bombard Cannons! This was the moment that Blue has been waiting for. So we've got the attack on the right, we've got the water control through the center, and now the attack on the side with two-handed swordsmen, they look better than champions, worth it, and gunpowder. Woo! Dang! And Blue still only has 45 vils. So this is all very impressive. Oh, man. The KD is going to be insane for Blue if if it's just Navy. But, okay, here we have it. Tower goes down. Magyar Hussar should still be really strong here against these hand cannons. 
Um, I mean, the Magar Hustler can kill the ships as well if the ships stay on the shoreline. So, okay, that's worth it. Blue is doing a lot at the same time, so you can't expect a player at this elo to control things perfectly. And you cannot expect red to resign here. But will red ever realize that blacksmith upgrades are needed for the Arbalest? What I like about blue is when there's an attack, there's always a layer of wall behind it. A lot of players will will forget that. And uh, blue has always made sure that the walls are up. So if you lose this battle, they don't run right through. Okay. Spanish gunpowder, very strong. That's a lot of Magyar Hussar, though. Yeah, I think the Magyar Hussar clear this. They definitely take the bomber cannons, but I don't think the gunpowder for Spanish is good enough. It's still a 40 HP unit versus a 85 HP unit that has pretty decent attack. And again, it only costs food. So, okay. And then we have the Arbalest. And there you can see Blue is kind of using the range. <laughs> Oh, guys, when I said that if Blue wins this game, it's going to go on forever, I didn't actually... <laughs> I didn't want it to happen. This relic becomes so important, though. Did Blue ever see it? Oh, Blue never noticed it. Is Red just going to keep trading arbs against ships like this? Is that the play? I think so, because I think Red believes that it's not possible to redock. Red has given up on that now. Oh, uh, lessons learned, guys. Lessons learned. This is a lot of wood and gold that you're never going to get back. But, I mean, Blue lost so many bomber cannons earlier. Lost a lot of Cavalier in this game. Made a crap ton of monks. Doesn't have 7k gold, that's for sure. Doesn't have 17k wood. Also, Blue doesn't really... Isn't making more villagers either. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can do it, lady. I believe in you. Show these dunderheads what you can do. This is someone on their first time here to the stream. Murder holes now for red. This is where if you could make a wonder, it'd be worth it for both players. But, I mean, you... Correction, you can make a wonder, but it doesn't actually do anything for you. Okay. Okay. Have we seen any players use the market to buy and sell resources? It doesn't look like it. So they might not know you can do that. It would be worth it if you were either player to sell off food right now to get more gold. I know red has gold, but that's not going to be the case forever. So I think it's necessary. I think red's strategy is let's mass siege and let's try and push this area. Um, also notice that red clicked the heavy scorpion upgrade, probably doesn't really know what it is and just said, I need to do something else. So didn't see that button before. Let's click it. And here comes blue. So I, I played two Baltic games this month. Obviously we're slightly different ELO than these players here. Both of them went down to needing to control the corners because of wood. It's just so hard to finish people off on this map. Which is why you don't actually see a lot in tourneys. You see Mediterranean instead where there's less water. But this becomes very corner and wood line oriented. Um, and, you know, for, for us to encounter this situation at Loey the Legends, obviously it's the game's going to have to go on a whole lot longer. But I still believe that that will be what decides this game. Unless Red gets enough siege to push blue and just attack here. That... And actually, that's pretty likely if Blue doesn't bring the Navy over. Look at this. <laughs> Blue's like, regret. <laughs> okay. So we're going to see the Cavalier get healed up behind the walls, I imagine. And okay, Red is starting to trip down the gates there. Meanwhile, we have Blue upgrading to keep. And I think Blue is going to have to mass a lot of army here. I don't think it's worth it for Red to pay any attention to any of this. Sure, defend if you get raided, but I think you need to send all of your 125 military here. Is that the game's first trap? I think it might be, actually. 
wood upgrade. Yep, you're going to need it, Red. You're going to need it. And Blue has brought more villagers over here for whatever reason. It does not have large numbers of Navy here. So I've got some concerns for Blue. Like, I really felt like Blue was going to have a chance, but Blue is... Yeah, Blue... <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, so before in this game, Blue needed to, like, attack Red and do some damage, and he just sat back. Now, actually, what Blue needs to do is just sit back and camp, and now he's trying to go for the kill. So I think that the idea is sound here. Have an attack from this side while also defending on this side. But make sure you can actually hold this side because you are breaking, my friend. You are breaking. And I think Blue has just realized it now. So... I mean, there's another gate there still, right? And Cannon Galleons are there. Trebuchet after Cannon Galleon is a tactic I wasn't expecting to see here. But it works! All right, there we go. Why make your own navy when you can just use a trebuchet against the navy, I guess? Any plans on casting Nations Cup at some point? Uh, depends on when. It, it's weird. There's so many other things happening amongst Nations Cup. So, you know, I knew that going into it when it was announced. It, it conflicted with enough things where I didn't think I'd be able to cast it. I'm going to be leaving Friday. I have a Rage Forest tourney to play Thursday. I have... I might be able to do it Wednesday, but then I'm gone for like five or six days. So hopefully when I get back, I'll do like the final... Like the round of eight onwards in Nations Cup could be really good. I think, I think that's likely. So now that I think about it, I think round of eight onwards... So quarterfinals and beyond, I'll, I'll maybe try and commit to with Nations Cup. The other thing that's tricky is I don't know if there's set scheduled time, so it can kind of be whenever, so I'll have to pay attention. All right, here comes Blue. Guys, we are at one hour and 35 minutes here. <laughs> like, Red losing this game would be so heartbreaking. Probably just as heartbreaking for many people watching. This is definitely one that can lead to some frustration for people. And Blue thinks that this is Red's everything. And oh, look at the micro! Look at the micro with the cannon galleon and the onagers! Bam! Take that! Sick! Oh, Red, take out the gate, though, so you can run in there. Also, does Red see any of this? Red does see it. Oh, because the cannon started attacking the houses. You picked the wrong corner to run into, mister. Get wrecked. Bomber cannon's dead. Villas are going to die. Cavalier's going to die. A lot of Hussars and Arbalest will die, but this gets completely cleared up. Meanwhile, Blue's still dealing with the Onagers and the Hussars on this side. And Blue, back in the spot that we've been in before, has the potential because of the water control, but doesn't have the economy. Has no gold income and has found it very difficult to make ships. Oh, man. Okay. I like how Blue learns over here to keep the ships off the shoreline. I, I like that. Uh, here, of course, Red just has enough Arbalest to be able to trade against the ships. Ay, 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 ay. And the ships are going to go down. If Red would have researched blacksmith upgrades for the Arbalest, though, it would have made such a big difference. Highly suggest in a late, in a long game, especially when you have resources, just go through some of your buildings and see if there's something left. I'm okay with you researching things that aren't even that relevant at this stage of the game. Because it, it even boosts your score, right? Just to add a little bit of d the dominance factor. Um, but yeah lessons learned easy enough for us to say red might even know about them and just completely forgot at this stage okay this cannon galleon sitting slightly out of range red realizing that's gonna back away now and red says well onagers are pretty cool but what about these things <laughs> what about these things this is gonna make scorpions now this is a test scenario for red because red's like i've tried everything Guys, I wanted to do multiple games today. <laughs> this game might never end. But notice that red is now out of trees to chop. So there are some trees here, which are becoming difficult to get access to. 
these trees here are probably still doable, but not easy to get access to. 20k wood in the bank, though. I guess most of the wood's going to be spent on either Arbalest or reseeding these farms here. But blue at least has wood income. Let's look at total resources collected. Total resources collected. 50k more resources. This is why people hate water maps, man. It just freezes them up. They don't know what to do. And that would definitely be red in this scenario. But with 20k wood, right? You could just pull... You, you use a unit. You check the shoreline. See if there's any navy there. If there's not, you just pull 10 villagers. And you make like 6 docks. And then immediately outmass your opponent in navy. Also, rams can be really nice on the shoreline. But yeah, Blue's tactic is to deny the wood. I, it's not even... I think Blue is very well aware of this. I don't even think it's just me thinking it at this point. Because Blue consistently is keeping an eye on this area here. And basically has the opponent cornered right now. Oh boy. Okay, Magyar Hussar Scorpion. 20 hours of vital eco for red. Well, I mean, it's been a long game, right? It's been a long game. We are going to see the one day mark, though, for red's idle time. It's not something you see every time. Lady is popcapped and can't spam anymore. He's got one treb, which I think was the treb from before and got healed up. And has this hussars and has the scorpions. Scorpions will actually be more pretty helpful against the ships, I guess. Blue is going to see these Lumberjacks and be like, yes! <laughs> that was my plan! Yes! <laughs> I will deny your wood. Oh, God. You better be careful here, Blue. You had two towers before. It might just be one pretty soon. That's a lot of army from Red. Jeez. Yeah, the tower's going to go down. Gate could be next. Uh-oh. Blue's got a plan, but Red is about to break it. He's opened the gate. The, the Hussars are through. Thanks it. Thanks for hodoring it, bro. Oh, God. What have you done, Blue? Now, there's archers and conquistadors inside of the castle. This might have been a trap. Um, in the end, though, it does give Red some momentum, and Red's going to go raid for the first time in a long time. Look at that. All right. I like it from Red. Blue freaks out. Villagers coming from Narnia to hop inside the TC after the town bell. And Blue's going to have to track that down, which means Red is defended here. And Red is the potential to take out the gate. I understand that Blue's got this strat and all. But I, I would feel so terrible for Red if Red were to lose this game. Because Red has played so well. Red's like, oh, this is familiar. I was here before. Many generations ago. And... Oh! Oh, yeah, Red converted the Cannon Galleon, and now there's someone in that ship, and they're like, what gives? Why aren't my cannonballs firing as fast? Uh, if you convert a Spanish Cannon Galleon, you don't continue to have the faster firing cannonballs, unfortunately. But hey, Red now has Navy. That's something. These Hussars here are attacking a Lumber Camp, and that's actually good for Blue, because then maybe Blue will make a new one that's actually efficient. These Magyar Hussars are attacking. They will probably get dealt with. We have Paladin for blue? Paladin? Okay. That's pretty expensive when you don't have gold, to tell you that much. But it is going to upgrade these bad boys. And red is starting to tread the gate down now. And please, blue, I'm emotionally invested in your comeback. Well, some people really want blue to win. Some people really want red to win. I think people are probably split. Unfortunately, this cannon galleon is going to go down now to the galleons. So as exciting as that moment was for red, and I love the decision to use the monk there. Uh, it's not going to lead to a whole lot. This is still the area, though. Oh, wait, red is speaking. Oh, let's go. Red says, hi, can I ask you a question? I don't know. Blue might be very focused on the Galleons right now. I don't know anything about these players. I don't know if they both speak English. I don't know the situation. Okay, Lady's still speaking. She says, hello. No response. 
Who's very focused, lady. Stop trying to distract him. <laughs> mm, what's the question, I wonder? I feel like you should just ask it. You know? Because what are they going to say? No? They can't stop you from asking the question. What if Lady really has to go pee or something? <laughs> what if it, Red needs a potty break but doesn't know how to pause the game? Like, it's just it's been a long game. Okay, ships are getting killed here. How do you know Lady isn't a 50-year-old dude? I don't know. But I think it's fair to say that Lady is she, right? I think it's fair. It's a fair assumption. Hmm... God, Blue still didn't unring the bell. I did not realize that. Blue's economy is still basically non-existent. Red could do this. Red could do this. Red, Red just needs to give up on this area and send everything to this side. I guess you might need to take the castle out with only Magyar Hussars, though. Hmm. Oh, the town bell has been unrung. Okay. And I guess Red has given up on that question. Which, to me, is quite sad. I always like it when players chat. So, what do you guys think the question is? If you had to guess what the question would be, I, I don't know. Oh, God. Repairing the, the seat workshop? Okay. Can we see the APM? We saw it earlier and Red's faster, but I think it was because Red also had just more units to move around. A marriage proposal? <laughs> I'll marry you if you leave this game. There's the speed. But I mean, the eco blue is double the eco APM, apparently. So, there's that. That's just blue probably saving villagers, though. Red's only down... Red's at 66 vils, guys. The Magyar Hussars are starting to disappear on this side. The Magyar Hussar... Oh, God, he actually got the ship there. But a lot died on this side as well. The raids are now finished. Um, the gold is very low for blue, but there's still two villagers on wood. Oh, I'm trying to find positives for you, blue, but I think blue's just enjoying the cannon galleons killing the Magyar Hussar. Hmm. Okay, where are these villagers going? New monastery. Not sure exactly why. Okay, question for my viewers here. Do you guys think that Blue knows that this is a wood game now? I used to think yes. I don't think Blue has really thought that through. Because <laughs> if Blue knew that, Blue would actually be chopping more wood. <laughs> I think Blue is just staring at this and is enjoying it <laughs> very much. And I think that's the extent of it. Yeah. Ooh, blacksmith upgrades for red. Ooh, that could be a game changer. Well, not really, because there's no more Arbalest, but still. And with 17k food, Red could do this all the time. Blue hasn't walled this, which is something that needs to happen. Oh, guys, I didn't have market events on the whole game. I'm so stupid. Okay, I had them turned off. So at one point, Blue had actually sold food for gold. I had asked at one point if they knew about that. Okay, but the prices are still pretty high because that was recent. All right, Magyar Hussars go into raid. And... Okay, th this is the lumber economy for blue now. And red will run out of trees. I this is crazy, man. I wonder how far along they are in this game. Would you guys like to try a slight fast forward? Let's do it. It's possible they're like three hours in. Or they're maybe they're only two minutes ahead of us. Let me just... Because I want to do more things today, we are going to do a slight fast forward as, as Blue is selling food and wood for gold to make paladins. Ooh. This is... Uh, unfortunately, I have normal speed and I have two times speed. Two times speed is pretty fast. I'll slow it down in the important moments, though. How's that? Red at 137 population. It's 100 population for Blue, who's making paladins. And Blue is killing lumberjacks here, but is starting to lose this castle. The paladins are all over here. 
And while Magyar Hussars aren't as good as a Paladin, they're still solid enough, and there's more of them. I don't know if Blue notices this. Red's going to run right in. Oh, wait, Blue surely notices, right? Because the archers moved. The Paladins need to come over here. Oh, boy. Spanish archers. Not so good. We're going to hear a bell in three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding? Ding? Okay. All right. Screw your villagers. No one cares about those villagers. Let them all die. That's what Blue says. Uh, that's really good for Red. Red has broken through. Red can now expand. Could maybe bring villagers and build buildings here, which there was no possibility of in the past. Blue has not shown me that he's really even here, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing any movement. But according to the APM charts, Blue is doing something on the screen currently. As for what that something is, okay, it is gathering the paladins. There's 20 paladins here. I don't think 20 paladins are enough to end this suffering. But the navy is being brought over as well, which could obviously be quite helpful. Lady has broken Blue's defenses. Will probably lose these hussars in this engagement, but has so many more. And has double the villagers. Exactly double the villagers, though. Because there's only the 40 farmers. And that's it. Yeah, I mean, like, Scorpions aren't a direct counter to Paladin, but they still do some damage against them. Plus, there's a bit of hill bonus damage here. I think the Magyar Hussars will clean this. And I think Red will get the victory, and I think Blue might resign. There's just not a lot of positive... Oh, Blue's gonna rush now? Well, okay, well, these castles... And this tower, all those fortifications there are going to be super nice. And there are the cannon galleons. Wait a second. Wait a second. Blue's microing this. Blue's clicked the scorpions. Oh, look at that micro. Okay. The scorpions no more. Mm, still says there's 13 paladins. And there's 29 helps. I take it back. Blue could actually clear this up. I don't think this is going to do anything. All right, so we'll speed it up again. We'll see how this goes. Again, I don't know how far in. They could have been three hours into this game before we joined. Maybe this goes on for another three hours. Um. Oh, this is so funny. Okay, so when you have auto farm on, if your farm gets killed, your villagers are just going to reseed it. That's what had just happened there. <laughs> Pro strats, baby. <laughs> Pro strats. The blue's gonna make a tower there. If blue could rewall this, that would be so nice. Oh, okay, a castle here. All right, so blue's giving up on the north then. And blue's just making towers. And there goes a small force to try and raid. Blue, in my opinion, has been clearly the worst player all game, both economically, strategically, and everything. But Blue has a strategy which can give them a chance. And that strategy is use the water, be annoying with towers, and hope to deny resources from the opponent. Even a siege workshop here. What? Yeah, the towers are... They're keeps, right? So I think they have all the upgrades possible. I forget what unique upgrades the Spanish might get. Red is trying to be sneaky with this. Didn't know there was a castle there from blue, though. But good micro. Look at the scorpions do work. Whoosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. So, villagers die. Towers getting trebbed. A lot's happening now. Man, at two times speed, you really realize how much these guys are doing. There's no way for Red to take out this castle. Blue will lose these towers while it's building more. Blue has somehow looped the whole way around here and can actually wall this off. <laughs> the fact that Blue went all the way over here, did a little loop-de-loop, -loop, and now is over here is hilarious to me. Okay. 
I mean, red doesn't have any villagers working right now. They're all inside castles and town. Blue has made a gate inside of red's walls. A gate inside of red's walls. Pro strats, bro. Pro strats. I love it. And it does also connect to walls that Blue has just built himself. Which is good because if Red knew he could delete walls, he could just go right around the gate. Okay, so he's kind of back to where he was before. He's got Cannon Galleons camping this choke point. Red has a massive army here, but Red can't reinforce. It can't really use the army unless he wants to run into the castle fire. <laughs> and wait, did we just... We're at live time, guys. We're at live time. We can't go any faster. Oh, no. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> okay. Two hours and 12 minutes. This is where the players are at. Blue at one point tried to... Or Red at one point tried to ask a question of Blue. Blue didn't respond. <laughs> There's nothing but extreme focus and dedication to this game. Hey, Red did make more than one treb, which is good. Ooh, okay. All right, so there go the Hustler. I mean, everything could loop around the castle. Could That could work. And this is this is still fine for Red, right? Like, he's still got Scorpions there. He's still got a lot of units. That yeah, blue is not going to get the better of this situation. Seems to underestimate the Scorpions a little bit in every engagement. But okay, Red... Still can't advance very far. We'll eventually lose this, you've got to think, right? And is... Okay, is attacking the gate now, so more reinforcements can come in. Got it. Oh! <gasps> Blue resigns! What? What? Blue resigns? Why? Why? Why now? You, you, you played on for so long. Maybe it was a disconnect? Let me go into the game itself. Doesn't say disconnect. Normally it does say disconnect there. The colors are different for me in, in game actually because I have team colors turned on. What? Of all the times to resign, my friend, I was not expecting it to be there. Yikes. Okay. Well, blue was at 65 pop. Blue did just lose. Well, it kind of makes some sense actually. Blue did just lose all the paladins and all the halbs. The forward attacks hadn't really worked. And the gate was about to go down, which meant that red could reinforce with more. And honestly, if red would have sent all the Magyar Hussars through, blue might just end up tapping out because he'd be dead at that point. So yeah, I think blue actually had a realization of my population's not good enough and I can't break this person. And they somehow held on. But sheesh, I was very concerned for lady there that lady was going to throw that game Blue almost had it, though, by using the walls and using the navy there. I appreciate it, even though the game did drag on for a very long time. Uh, what was the most created unit? Well, Halbs and then Magyar Hussars. Um, the KD, though, shows you just how many units Red threw away in this game. But let's go, Lady. Congratulations on the win. Uh, 160,000 resources collected. 95,000 resources collected. So there was a 60k difference there. And it was a, an interesting game. I may avoid Baltic in the future at lower elo because the games can be a little bit campy, but people on YouTube later on can let me know what you think. Again, I'm going to say this. Um, Rewatch the points of this game where I talked about the docking. I think it's going to uh, do wonders for you if you're ever playing on a map like this because there are ways to break blue strategy or at least force blue to have more on water. Giving up on water easily can sometimes leave you in a situation that Red was for a bit there. We love Baltic. Listen, I think Baltic's a fun map, right? It could just be really tricky at times and can lead to some longer games. And I like longer games. Longer games can be good. But I don't want a longer game every time. <laughs> we need these longer videos on YouTube so we can fall asleep to them, T90. Well, how long does it take you, really? Do you need over an hour? Because then I would say that I'm not, I'm not really good at making people fall asleep. But yes, yes, people fall asleep to my videos. Yes, yes, ha ha, funny, 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 funny.